Hello my hunters, this is Joe with Off the Hoof Outdoors. Today I want to talk about hunting river bottoms or creek bottoms, which I call river bottom bucks. First of all, I'm going to draw a perimeter of this property that I have permission to hunt. This is a suburban area with plenty of woods. Okay, it kind of goes along here. This this whole line you see going there, it's the old railroad. That's a rail to trails. Okay, so that's a walking, um, bicycling deal. So I have access to all this property here. Kind of goes up there behind my emblem. Out like so, just like that. All right. I have access. I'm allowed to hunt all that. My friend is leasing all that property, so. I have access to it. Now, I want to show you where the river bottom runs. Okay, kind of splits two ways right here, but it comes down like this. All right, goes over here, goes underneath the walking trail, comes out here like this, here, back underneath the walking trail again, kind of does some splits over here goes up like this and down like that that's the river bottom or the river itself okay now I've been hunting these pines for the last three days since the season opened and I've seen two decent bucks in there one nine point about 16 inches and another six which was about 18 inches but it was just a six no brow times all right but as I'm mapping this whole area and checking this out I keep seeing this area here which catches my eye a peninsula of land per se or as I call it the nipple okay and I've been saying to myself as I look and I've been riding you know the four-wheelers down through here I look up primarily white oaks up there and we all know what white oaks mean deer's favorite treat they just love the white oak acorns so I've been saying to myself I got to get up there I got to check it out well I'm all down through here I'm looking up there looking up there this right here and I'll do it in paint all right all along this nipple that I call it it's a cliff it's just a sheer drop okay there's no deer going up there there are no people going up there or coming down all right just not happen let me back this up a little whoops let me erase my picture never mind it's a, it's a cliff okay there's no deer you know coming up or going down all right it's just not happening so I've been saying to myself well let me go out here on the rail trail which I did today parked the four-wheeler here went to the trail I walked this trail up here which I've walked many times before for fishing purposes and I was hoping that there's a way up in this way because I, I you know I would park over here and walk it to get up here well it's not okay it is not this is all cliff. Same thing. It's all cliff. All right. So after that, I'm like walking back and kind of disgusted. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm never getting up there. Get back on the four-wheeler. I'm driving out this way here. I notice a huge, huge buck rub right there. All right, so I get off the four wheeler. I'm checking it out, taking a few pictures, and at the same time, I notice this trail that appears to be coming down like this and like this. Okay, right to where the spuck rub is. So I'm looking at the rub, I'm looking at the trail, I'm standing over here looking this way. 
Of course, I'm going to look to the right to see where this trail is going because I'm thinking that's all Cliff over there. He's just going down there to get a drink or what's going on. What are these deer doing? Just going there for water or what? So it's really thick, high grass there. So I cut through and get over to the river bank and I notice another huge rub right there. All right. In the trail, and it's continuing there. Now there's a hump there on the riverbank. I climb up on the hump. I look down the slope, which is about a four foot drop, and it is just devastated. This trail, they are definitely crossing there. So now, as I'm looking across the creek, I notice, I notice that. This, all right here, we'll do this in black, all this right here is a flat, okay, that's a flat, all this right here, that's a flat, okay, and the water is shallow. And I have my rubber boots on. So I'm like, okay, let me see where this trail is going. So I follow across the water. And it kind of enters right here. Okay. And goes in there. And it's a nice flat in there, let me tell you. White oak's down here as well. And as I go in there, what I notice, I notice nice rub, or uh, scrape right here. I walk over this way. I know there's another scrape right here. These are communal scrapes or community scrapes. These are scrapes that are used all year round. These bucks use them all year round. I don't care what people say or what they think. Bucks scrape all year round on these primary communal scrapes. That is their way of marking territory, letting other deer know they're in the area and a way for them to know what other deer are in the area because those other deer are going to hit those scrapes as well. All right, other bucks. Now during the pre-rut, rut, post-rut, the does will be hitting them as well, leaving their scent, doing their little teasing game. Okay, so I know those two things there. So I decide, okay, where's this trail going now? All right, so it kind of cuts back along the bank over here. And... There's another little crossing that goes back across the water there. But, but it is barely used. I mean, there's a couple tracks in there. It's a real faint trail. All right, they're not using it. Maybe under pressure during gun season. This is all shotgun only here, the muzzle loader. Maybe then they'll use that as an escape route as well. Okay. What I did notice is. This trail wise off, gradually climbs up into this whole area that I've been wanting to check out. It looks appears to me as this is an old logging road, a very old logging road. All right, it goes up into this whole area that I've been wanting to check out. All right, I didn't get up there, that's going to be tomorrow. I want to go up in there and check it out. I ran out of daylight today. Definitely going to get up there and check it out. All right. But I already know what I want to do with this major pinch point. This is a major crossing and a pinch point right here. Okay. I already know what I want to do. Definitely getting a stand right here. Without a doubt. It's getting a stand right here watching this little flat down in here. Okay. Now up here, it's going to get two stands. Not sure where, but I'm thinking they're on the east side, and I'm thinking they're on the west side. They could be in here. I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll find out once I go up in there. But this is going to be a two-man job. Now, I have a buddy that I like to hunt with, uh, someone that I can trust to take into an area, and he won't take other people in there, and he won't go there without me. So this is going to be a two-man deal. Someone's going to be down here on this bottom watching this flat. Someone's going to be up on this plateau top with the white oaks watching this whole top. Now, this is a morning movement area, I'm, I'm assuming. These deer are going to bet up here. 
They're high, they're elevated. There's one way in, one way out. They feel good about that. Most people say, no, nah, they feel trapped about that. No, not true. Not true at all. They feel good about that. They can sit up here high, all right? They can sit up here high. They can um, watch out along here, here, because they're elevated. This is all down low. Watch out, you know, all, all these directions, depending on how they set up on their land, all right? And if the wind is correct and out of the west, which it usually is here, usually west, northwest, over here, they have the wind at their back, okay? They can detect any odors blowing in from behind them, anything that's approaching from the rear. Okay, you say, what are they going to do? Well, they sell, smell something over here, where are they going to go? They're going to run back towards the scent? Well, I'm telling you now, this is some serious cliff. They're not going down there. I checked it all out. What they'll have to do is, they'll probably circle around. This is a lot bigger than what it looks like on the map. They would probably circle around, try to get more downwind, try to see what the smell is, go from there, and, you know, exit out through here. That's the only move they can make. And that would lead most people to say, well, why would they be in there then? Because they have nowhere to go. They're kind of trapped. Well, because the food source is there. It's loaded with white oaks. I'm not sure if they're dropping this year. As we know, they drop every two to three years, the white oaks. I will find that out tomorrow. But this whole video is about this. Riding the quads or whatever, riding your four-wheel drive Jeep around these areas looking. I've been up and down this trail every day for the last week. i never seen this crossing. never seen it until i seen that big buck rub, which is fresh. Me getting off the quad, looking at the rub, taking pictures, helped me notice this trail, which led me to check the trail on the other end, which brought me to this. I never knew this was here. You couldn't see it with all the trees and the hump on this side and all the high grass. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is get on your feet, get off the quads, especially when you find a nippled area like this or a peninsula area, whatever you want to call it, and there's food source in there like there is, there's going to be an access point. There's going to be an access point, especially in areas like this. This area has all been excavated to build these houses. This is all old strip mine from back in the day. Okay? There's some access point. They got up here somehow one day, and here it is, this old logging room. Okay? Now, where it used to exit or how they got up here back then, I don't know. They probably came across the creek and went up this way, I'm assuming. Because that's where it goes down to. But I can't see anything on the other side because this has been all level. So get off the quads. Get out of the Jeep or whatever it may be. Or even if you're at a fast paced walk, slow it down. Pay attention to your surroundings. Find these pinch points that go into these food sources. Especially these peninsula areas like this. And you'll find the bucks. Hope you learned something today. Good luck. Keep at it.